But first, two newly elected lawmakers in New Jersey are both under fire for past social media posts. Good evening, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. State Senator elect Ed Durr and Pittman Councilman Vincent Kelly find themselves embroiled in controversy just days after the election. We want to warn you the allegations and messages are disturbing. Eyewitness News reporter Jasmine Payute is in Woodbury, Gloucester County tonight with the story. Jasmine, good evening. Yuki, good evening. Those posts have gotten widespread attention. Even Governor Phil Murphy weighing in, calling it outrageous. Shock and condemnation in South Jersey. It's disgusting. I hope he gets kicked out of office. I mean, what will happen now? After not one, but two newly elected officials in Gloucester County are thrown back into the spotlight for what they've reportedly done or said in the past. It surprises me that he could get that far in an election and have that not come out before now. Lisa's referring to Vincent Kelly, the Republican and his running mate, bested two incumbent Democrats to win seats on the Pittman Borough Council Tuesday night. But Friday, calls for him to step down came as this picture resurfaced. It's pretty shocking. But again, you know, our, our goal is not to cancel him, it's to educate him. The group, Pittman Anti Racist Collective, says Kelly shared this photo on his Facebook page. They say it shows him dressed as Flavor Flav for Halloween, wearing makeup to darken his skin. White folks used to dress up uh, as a menstrual to mock black people, to exaggerate comedy, to laugh at them. So we, we take it very serious, and, and it does hurt. We tried to speak with Kelly, but our calls and attempts at his home were unanswered. Kelly has since taken the picture down. It's unacceptable. Loretta Winters is with the Gloucester County NAACP. She says this incident, along with the recent news surrounding state senator elect Ed Durr, show a troubling trend. It tells me that the homework was not done. Durr, who defeated Senate President Steve Sweeney, is under fire for a series of posts, including a 2019 tweet that referred to Islam as a false religion and a cult of hate. He was unavailable Friday, but has since apologized, saying he is passionate and sometimes says things in the heat of the moment. Has he made a mistake in the past? Absolutely. Does it define who he is? Absolutely not. Durr is expected to meet with local Muslim leaders next week. As far as Kelly goes, the NAACP is hoping to have a meeting with him. We're live in Gloucester County. Jasmine Payute, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Jasmine, thank you.